There are two very effective ways for blocking any website on Google Chrome. So you could do this at school, for example, if you don't want the students to access a website, you could do this at work. If you don't want your kids at home to access a website, this will work. So I wanna show you both of those. One of them is using a Chrome extension that has over a million users. And another option is kind of hidden, but it's inside of Google Chrome that works really well. I'll show you both. So the very first option is if you go to chrome.google.com, you will come to the Chrome Web Store. You could also just search in Google for Chrome extensions. And in the extension store, you want to search for block site. And the most used block site extension that I've seen over the last few years is this one called block site. And I just went to their website just to make sure everything is good. Again, they have 24,000 reviews and over 3 million users. And I looked at how many people actually go to this website, about 6 million people every single month go to this website. So I was pretty comfortable trying it out. So if you click on it from there, you could go ahead and add it to Chrome, add extension. And to activate an extension, if you don't have any, basically all these icons are extensions. You could click this extension icon over here and you'll see if you've downloaded the other one, you'll see block site and you could pin it and it will show it over here. Now it's pinned right here. So if you click it, it's going to basically let you block a website. Just to show you an example, I'll go to tiktok.com and I could press this icon right here and I'll agree and block this website. So I'll block it and it's been added. So if I refresh the page, and this is basically the page they get when a website is blocked. Now to unblock it, click that same icon, edit block sites, and you'll see that option over here to remove this, basically press the garbage can. So the reason why I wanted to show you a second method is because maybe your kids or someone at school or work could figure out how to basically deactivate this. So here's the other option. If you come to any website, you have to press this lock icon. This doesn't require anything to download, by the way. And press site settings. And you'll see a couple of things here. JavaScript could be turned off. So if I block JavaScript, JavaScript is basically just a coding language that most websites use. You could also block images here too. So on this website, on TikTok, Images and JavaScripts will be blocked because of what I've set up over here. So let's go back here to TikTok. I'm gonna type that in over here. And this is basically what ends up happening. The images show up broken and the videos will not play because that is requiring JavaScript for that to happen. You could do this with Facebook and YouTube and any social media platform. And pretty much most websites will have some kind of element of JavaScript. So you will simply go to that website, press lock, go to site settings and disable images and JavaScript and it will most likely seem like a broken website like that. And then if you change your mind, you could go ahead and change that over here. But most people will never figure that out because they'll never press this lock icon. So I'll go ahead and reload and it should be back up and running. I hope this was useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.